Uh, let's compare the brand new Pixel 4a with the Sony Xperia 10 Mark II. Too long? Don't watch or don't read? Get the Xperia 10 Mark II, you get better value for almost the same price. Slightly less performance, slightly worse camera performance, but more flexibility with your cameras, ultra-wide tele-zoom camera. I think the Xperia 10 Mark II is the better device all in all. Also better build quality, uh, splash proof, waterproof, dust proof. I think the Xperia 10 Mark II is unbeatable in this category and yeah, the Pixel 4a, I don't know. It needs to be cheaper to be really a uh, true competitor to the Xperia 10 Mark II and something that I would recommend then. But let's take a look at the details a little bit more. What we can see on the build quality and dimensions is that the Pixel 4a is basically an Xperia 10 Mark II with a little bit chopped off, maybe a little bit more chopped off. Basically the two camera lenses chopped off. Uh, so 5.8 versus 6 inch. Uh, the same dimensions, uh, only the, the, the length is a different length. And uh, both feature 12 megapixels main sensors, but the Xperia has also two 8 megapixel sensors, one ultra wide and one telephoto, which the Pixel 4a is missing. Granted, Pixel 4a's 12 megapixel is slightly uh, on, on a bigger sensor, on a slightly bigger sensor, so the low light cap capability should be a little bit better. And as Google is very well aware and known for their camera technology, I think the te camera technology of the 12 megapixel sensor on the uh, Pixel 4a by default will give you better results, but also some more artificial results like colors are boosted, uh, sharpness is boosted, contrast is boosted, and you get a more natural result on the Xperia 10 Mark II. And if you want to have this boosted result, you can just install something like Photoshop Camera, which uh, runs pretty nicely on the Xperia 10 Mark II, as I showed you earlier. And then when it comes to the display itself, the Xperia 10 Mark II has a slightly sharper display, even though the display is bigger, uh, just because like 20 by 21 by 9 display aspect ratio instead of 19.5 uh, by 9 on the Pixel 4a. Uh, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 versus Corning Gorilla Glass 6. So the build quality in general, I think on the Pixel is worse than on the Xperia 10 Mark II. We have uh, water and dust resistance here on the Xperia um, uh, 10 Mark II. We have uh, front and back Gorilla Glass 6. Only the, 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 the edges are uh, plastic or polycarbonate. And um, yeah, I think overall the build quality is better on the Xperia 10 Mark II. Both a feature in the 3.5 millimeters headphone jack and uh, the Xperia has a slightly uh, less performing uh, Snapdragon 665 uh, 11 nanometers uh, chipset and the um, Pixel 4a features a f uh, 730 uh, Snapdragon processor with 8 nanometers uh, chipset, which is slightly faster than the 665. Uh, both have 128 gigabytes internal memory, but we have here the expandability via a micro SD card. So if I open it up here, uh, also the possibility to just simply um, get the SIM card or micro SD card out here, and uh, yeah, you have this as a possibility. Uh, then when it comes to the front-facing camera, both have basically the same front-facing camera. Granted, Google colors and boosting and algorithms should produce a better result with the 8 megapixel camera. But in uh, general, I would say for selfies, everyday usage, there should be not a big of an issue. Where the Pixel 4a has an advantage is the stereo setup. So they are using also the uh, earpiece as a second um, stereo sounding speaker, I think, and a bottom firing one. The, the Xperia has the advantage that it is using um, a front firing speaker, but it's only mono and the quality is not the best. So this is something where the Sony Xperia will lag a little bit. When it comes to Bluetooth, they're basically 5.0 versus 5.1. There's not mu much of a difference there. Uh, both feature a USB Type-C 
port, but the USB Type-C port here only allows for USB speeds uh, of 2.0 and the standard on the Pixel 4a is 3.1 apparently. Uh, both have a fingerprint reader which is not in display but is uh, either on the side here or like on the Pixel 4a on the back. I like the side one better I have to say because I can just, if this phone is lying flat on the table, I can just like put my hand like this and unlock it. I don't need to grab it and then unlock it from uh, behind, which is I think pretty nice. And then in general, where the Xperia has a big advantage is the battery life. 3600, 3800, 3600 milliampere hours on the Xperia 10 Mark II and only 3140 or 3080. I'm not sure. There are two numbers now floating for the uh, Pixel 4a. You can just write in the comments which is the correct one. Anyway, it's not so far. Um, uh, the discre discrepancy is not so far. Uh, between those uh, two numbers. So I would say in general the battery life on the Pixel 4a also because of the faster processor um, is not uh, comparable to the Xperia 10 Mark II. So nine hours of screen on time I can get here, two days basically and um, Google itself is only advertising 24 hours so one day basically one full day on the Pixel 4a. So definitely the Xperia 10 Mark II has the advantage when it comes to this. Both have NFC of course. Then I think the price is also very similar. 340 euros, around 340 euros for the Pixel 4a, 350 euros depending on which country you are in. And here it's 360. So it is like 20 to 10 ish difference. Still I would say the Xperia 10 Mark II is the better device. It has the possibility to be easily expandable with micro SD cards. It has the flexibility of a triple lens setup, especially ultra wide images that you can take with it are pretty nice. And also telephoto, sometimes telephoto is very nice and useful. Of course, Pixel has this artificial telephoto zooming thing, but it is never as good as a real telephoto camera. And uh, yeah, in general, I would say you get a better device with the Xperia 10 Mark II. A little bit slower here and there, gaming maybe not the best. Pixel 4a is better for this, but in general more flexibility, better build quality, uh, still a compact design. So the only difference is like really a few centimeters on the top that are chopped off on the Pixel 4a. Very compact design on both and yeah the Xperia 10 Mark II is clearly the winner here. Also you get almost stock like Android experience and uh, yeah so the only big difference where I would see a disadvantage when it comes to software is the updates because the Sony is not known for the middle class software updates so you'll get maybe one big Android upgrade uh, and that's it. Second Android upgrade I did not receive on older devices maybe there will be some experience X I think got two Android upgrades but it was a different kind of middle class device. So I'm not so sure. I think with the three years of the Pixel 4a support you get better support there. But the better device is clearly the Xperia 10 Mark II I would say. What do you think? Just write it down in, your com in the comments. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like uh, such comparisons and videos and uh, like, subscribe and all this shenanigans. And also visit me on Patreon. I have now a Patreon page as well. Uh, Patreon.com slash Leszek Lesner. My first name and last name together small and uh, there you can donate and support my channel as well if you like to see more videos of this. This is everything for this video. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.